The casting process for Ship of Fools was a careful selection of talents who could bring depth and authenticity to the story. The film, based on Catherine Ann Porter's novel, required a diverse cast to portray a microcosm of society. For the role of the German divorcee, Mary Treadwell, Vivian Lee was a clear choice. Despite health issues, her audition showcased her ability to convey the character's complexity and vulnerability. However, it was her chemistry test with co-star Simone Signore that sealed the deal. Their dynamic captured the tense friendship between their characters, two women bound by circumstance. Signore, a renowned French actress, was cast as the German political activist Ella Condesa. Her experience and gravitas brought depth to the role. She was a natural fit, embodying the character's strength and resilience. The German ship's captain, Captain Thiel, was played by Jose Ferrer. Known for his versatility, Ferrer's audition demonstrated his understanding of the character's moral ambiguity. His portrayal added a layer of complexity to the character, making him more than just a villain. British actor Michael Dunn, who had dwarfism, was cast as the dwarf, Carl Glocken. His unique perspective brought authenticity to the role. Dunn's audition was a standout, showcasing his ability to portray the character's bitterness and vulnerability. The film's ensemble included other notable actors such as Lee Marvin, Oscar Werner, and Heinz Ruhmann. Each brought their unique talents to the table, creating a rich tapestry of characters that brought Porter's story to life. The casting of Ship of Fools was a testament to the power of diverse casting. Each actor's unique perspective and talent contributed to the film's enduring impact, making it a classic in the world of cinema. The director of Ship of Fools, Stanley Kramer, was known for his commitment to addressing social issues through film. His approach to this classic was no different. Kramer aimed to expose the ugliness of prejudice and hatred by setting the story on a ship carrying a diverse group of passengers, each with their own flaws and prejudices. Kramer's creative influences included the novel of the same name by Catherine Ann Porter, as well as his own experiences and beliefs. He was a strong advocate for social justice and used his films to challenge audiences to confront their own biases. The director's style was characterized by his willingness to tackle complex and controversial subjects. He employed a realistic approach, using long takes and minimal special effects to create a sense of authenticity. Kramer also encouraged his actors to deeply immerse themselves in their roles, resulting in powerful and memorable performances. Collaboration was key to Kramer's filmmaking process. He worked closely with his cast and crew, fostering a supportive and creative environment. For Ship of Fools, he assembled an impressive ensemble of actors, including Vivian Lee, Simone Signore, and Oscar Werner. Kramer encouraged their input and allowed them to shape their characters, resulting in a rich and nuanced portrayal of the passengers on the ship. Kramer's direction of Ship of Fools was marked by his unwavering commitment to social commentary and his dedication to creating a realistic, an immersive film experience. His collaborative approach and willingness to tackle complex subjects continue to resonate with audiences today. Released in 1965, Ship of Fools is a movie that has left a lasting impression on many. Did you know that there are fascinating facts about this classic that will make you laugh, gasp, and even tear up? This movie, directed by Stanley Kramer, is an adaptation of Catherine Ann Porter's novel of the same name. It takes place on a cruise ship filled with a diverse group of passengers, each with their own unique story. Perhaps you have a cherished memory associated with this movie. Maybe it's the first time you watched it, or a particular scene that resonated with you. We would love to hear your stories and personal experiences related to this movie in the comments below. The cast of Ship of Fools is nothing short of impressive. With stars like Vivian Lee, Simone Signore, and Oscar Werner, it's no wonder that this movie has stood the test of time. But beyond the star-studded cast, there are many surprising facts about Ship of Fools that you might not know. For instance, did you know that the movie was filmed on location in Mexico, despite being set in the Atlantic Ocean, or that it was nominated for several Academy Awards, including Best Picture? As we delve deeper into the fascinating world of Ship of Fools, you'll discover even more surprising facts about this classic movie. From its production to its reception, there's no shortage of interesting tidbits to explore. So stay tuned, because there are many funny, shocking, and sad facts coming up about this beloved movie. Get ready to be captivated by the stories and secrets behind Ship of Fools. The production of Ship of Fools took place in 1965, with filming locations primarily set in Europe. 
The movie was shot in several places, including the bustling city of Hamburg, Germany, and the picturesque Spanish island of Mallorca. These diverse settings perfectly captured the film's themes of societal inequality and moral decay. The set design for Ship of Fools was a significant undertaking. The film's central location was a cruise ship, which was meticulously recreated in a studio in Hamburg. Production designers went to great lengths to ensure that every detail was historically accurate, from the ship's intricate woodwork to its ornate brass fixtures. However, filming on a constructed set presented its own set of challenges. To create the illusion of a vast ocean, production crews had to use a combination of matte paintings, models, and special effects. This required a high degree of coordination and precision, as even the slightest miscalculation could ruin the shot. To overcome these challenges, the production team employed innovative techniques and technologies. For instance, they used a new type of camera rig that allowed for smoother and more stable shots on the rocking ship. Additionally, they utilized cutting-edge sound editing techniques to create the effect of a bustling ship's deck, complete with creaking wood and clanking metal. Despite these advancements, filming Ship of Fools was not without its difficulties. The tight studio space and large cast and crew made for a challenging shoot, and the unpredictable weather in Mallorca caused further delays. However, the end result was a visually stunning and thought-provoking film that has stood the test of time. The movie Ship of Fools, released in 1965, is a classic film that explores the complexities of human nature. Set on a passenger ship sailing from Mexico to Germany in the 1930s, the show features a diverse group of characters, each with their own flaws and struggles. One of the main characters is David, played by Oscar Werner, a German doctor who is disillusioned with his country's political climate. His character provides a thought-provoking commentary on the dangers of complacency, and the importance of taking a stand against injustice. Another notable character is Mary, portrayed by Vivian Lee, a fading actress who is struggling with her own mortality. Her performance is both poignant and heart-wrenching as she grapples with the reality of growing older in a world that values youth and beauty above all else. The film also features a number of other memorable characters, including a German businessman, a Spanish political activist, and a group of German tourists. Each character is unique and well-developed, adding depth and richness to the storyline. One of the standout aspects of Ship of Fools is its stunning cinematography. The film's use of color and lighting is particularly noteworthy, creating a visually striking and immersive atmosphere that draws the viewer in. The movie's themes are also thought-provoking and relevant even today. The film explores issues of prejudice, xenophobia, and the human tendency to ignore the plight of those who are different from us. It serves as a powerful reminder of the importance of empathy, compassion, and understanding in our increasingly divided world. Overall, Ship of Fools is a classic film that is well worth watching. Its complex characters, stunning cinematography, and thought-provoking themes make it a standout addition to any movie collection. The music in Ship of Fools, a 1965 movie, plays a significant role in complementing its narrative and emotional tone. The film score was composed by Ernest Gold who also created the iconic music for Exodus. Gold's score for Ship of Fools is a reflection of the film's complex themes of prejudice, morality, and self-deception. It comprises a mix of orchestral pieces that evoke a sense of grandeur and intimacy, mirroring the emotional journeys of the characters. In creating the score, Gold drew inspiration from the film's setting, a passenger ship sailing from Mexico to Germany in the 1930s. He used a variety of instruments to capture the essence of the ship's voyage, including strings, woodwinds, and percussion. The soundtrack also features several popular songs of the era, which further enhance the film's historical authenticity. One such song is Scotch and Soda, performed by the film star, Lee Marvin. Gold's approach to composing the score was to create music that would underscore the characters' emotions without overpowering them. He once stated, the music should be like an invisible character in the film, present, but not intrusive. The result is a score that subtly yet effectively complements the narrative and emotional tone of the movie. It serves as a poignant backdrop to the character's struggles and triumphs, enhancing the film's overall impact. In addition to gold score, the soundtrack also includes songs performed by the passengers, such as La Paloma, which reflects the film's exploration of human connections and disconnections. Overall, the music in Ship of Fools is a testament to the power of music and storytelling. It enhances the film's themes and emotions, creating a rich and immersive experience for viewers. 
Heinz Ruman's career as an actor was marked by both success and failure. His work with Eric Palmer in Die Dreifunder Tankstelle launched his stardom, making him a popular comedian in Germany. His cheeky and cheerful demeanor won the hearts of the audience, leading to a unique career. However, the establishment of his own film company, Comedia, in 1947 with Alf Takes did not go as planned. Despite a critically acclaimed performance in Berliner Ballet in 1948, the company went bankrupt, and Ruman's fees were reduced by 50% until 1959. Jose Ferrer, on the other hand, is known for sharing roles with both Gerard Depardieu and his son Guillaume Depardieu. In The Fifth Musketeer, Ferrer played the role of Athos, the Musketeer, which was also played by Guillaume Depardieu in Milady and The Three Musketeers. Ferrer also shared the role of Cyrano de Bergerac with Gerard Depardieu, with Depardieu playing the part in a 1990 film. Ruman's career was marked by his ability to connect with audiences, while Ferrer's career was shaped by his versatility in sharing roles with other actors. Both actors made significant contributions to the world of film, with their work leaving a lasting impact on audiences and the industry as a whole. Whether it's through Ruman's unique comedic style or Ferrer's ability to share roles with other accomplished actors, their work continues to resonate with audiences today. In the movie Ship of Fools, one of the most iconic scenes is the encounter between the characters David and La Paloma. As David watches La Paloma from afar, he is captivated by her beauty and strength. The tension between them is palpable, and the audience can't help but root for their connection. Director Stanley Kramer masterfully builds the tension in this scene through the use of close-ups and lingering shots. The camera focuses on La Paloma's face, highlighting her sadness and longing while David watches her from a distance. The use of shadows and light adds to the emotional intensity of the moment, creating a sense of intimacy and vulnerability. Simovic's performance as La Paloma is particularly noteworthy. She exudes a quiet strength and resilience, even as she grapples with the pain of her past. Her eyes convey a deep sadness and longing, drawing the audience in and making them feel deeply connected to her character. Jose Ferrer's performance as David is equally impressive. He portrays a man who is both captivated and intimidated by La Paloma, struggling to find the right words to express his feelings. His subtle gestures and facial expressions speak volumes, conveying a range of emotions with just a glance. The impact of this scene on the audience is profound. It is a powerful reminder of the human capacity for connection and understanding, even in the face of adversity. The scene resonates deeply with viewers, leaving a lasting impression that stays with them long after the movie has ended. According to Ferrer, the scene between David and La Paloma is one of the most memorable in the film. It's a moment of genuine connection between two people who are lost and searching for meaning in their lives. The chemistry between Simone and I was palpable, and I think that really comes across on screen. Simone echoes this sentiment, adding, that scene was so powerful because it was a moment of pure emotion. There was no need for words, we just looked at each other and understood everything that needed to be said. It was a real privilege to work with Jose on that scene, and I think it's one of the reasons why the movie has endured for so long. Overall, the iconic scene between David and La Paloma and Ship of Fools is a testament to the power of cinema to evoke emotion and create lasting connections between characters and audiences alike. In 1965, the movie Ship of Fools stood out as it was the only Best Picture Oscar nominee that year to also receive nominations for both Best Actor and Best Actress. The film featured notable performances from Vivian Lee and Lee Marvin. Vivian Lee, unfortunately, passed away on July 7, 1967, after collapsing at home due to complications from an attack of tuberculosis. That evening, the West End Theatre marquee lights remained off for an hour in her honor, highlighting her significant impact on the industry. Lee Marvin, on the other hand, had been offered the lead role in the 1953 film The War of the World. However, his involvement in Ship of Fools showcased his talent in a different light, further solidifying his status as a versatile actor. This classic film brought together two accomplished actors, each with their own unique stories, leaving a lasting impact on the world of cinema. The 1965 movie, Ship of Fools, made a significant cultural and social impact, striking a chord with audiences and leaving a lasting impression. This classic film, based on Catherine Ann Porter's novel, delved into thought-provoking themes that resonated with moviegoers. Set in the 1930s, the story unfolds on a cruise ship carrying a diverse group of passengers. As they journey together, their individual prejudices and societal expectations are exposed, 
leading to tense interactions and self-reflection. This microcosm of society served as a mirror for audiences, prompting them to examine their own beliefs and biases. The film's exploration of racial and social inequality struck a chord during a time of great social change. Audiences were captivated by the raw and realistic portrayal of these issues, which were often overlooked or sugarcoated in other films of the era. The movie's unflinching honesty contributed to important discussions about equality and justice, both in the United States and around the world. Moreover, the film's talented cast, including Vivian Lee, Simone Signore, and Oscar Werner, delivered powerful performances that further elevated its impact. Their nuanced portrayals of complex characters left a lasting impression on audiences, inspiring many to reconsider their own views on race, class, and nationality. Influencing pop culture, the movie's themes and characters have been referenced and reinterpreted in various forms of media, including literature, television, and music. Its exploration of societal prejudices and the human condition continues to inspire artists and creators, ensuring its enduring relevance. In conclusion, the 1965 movie Ship of Fools made a significant cultural and social impact by addressing relevant social and cultural themes resonating with audiences and influencing pop culture. Its unforgettable characters and powerful storytelling continue to captivate viewers, making it a timeless classic that remains relevant today. In Ship of Fools, Vivian Lee reportedly used one of her two Oscars as a doorstop for her bathroom. Meanwhile, Simone Signore, known for her striking resemblance to Romy Schneider, played a significant role in convincing Schneider to do her last film, The Passerby, after the death of her son. Signore's daughter, Catherine Allegri, had previously starred opposite Schneider in Inferno. Jose Ferrer, another actor in Ship of Fools, had a daughter named Letitia Thyra Ferrer with Utahagener Letitia's first name signified happiness, while Thyra was derived from the name of Uta's mother. The couple's daughter was born on October 15, 1940, in New York. In Ferrer's autobiography, Sources a Memoir, he revealed that their daughter's first name, Letitia, represented happiness, and her second name, Thyra, was from the name of Hagen's mother. This information provides a glimpse into the personal lives of the actors who brought Ship of Fools to life. Ship of Fools, the 1965 movie, received mixed reviews from critics, but was generally appreciated by audiences. The film, based on Catherine Ann Porter's novel, explores the lives of a diverse group of passengers on a ship sailing from Mexico to Germany in 1933. Stanley Kaufman of the New Republic praised the movie, stating, the film's construction is masterly. He also commended the director, Stanley Kramer, for his unusual visual sense. On the other hand, Bosley Crowther of the New York Times criticized the film for its ponderous and overladen narrative. Despite the mixed reviews, Ship of Fools was nominated for eight Academy Awards, including Best Picture, Best Director, and Best Adapted Screenplay. Vivian Lee received a nomination for Best Actress for her role as a fading German movie star. Simone Signore won the Golden Globe for Best Supporting Actress for her portrayal of a German divorcee. These accolades highlight the film's achievements in storytelling and acting. The nominations and wins for Ship of Fools were significant for those involved, as they recognized their hard work and dedication to the project. The film's success at the Academy Awards and Golden Globes also helped to solidify Stanley Kramer's reputation as a skilled and visionary director. In addition, the film's exploration of prejudice, discrimination, and the rise of fascism remains relevant today. The movie serves as a reminder of the dangers of intolerance and the importance of empathy and understanding. The critical reception and awards for Ship of Fools have helped to ensure that this classic film remains a significant and enduring work in the world of cinema. Moreover, Vivian Lee was one of the 12 actresses who won the Best Actress Oscar for a movie that also won the Best Picture Oscar. She won the award for Gone with the Wind, a feat she shared with several other actresses, including Simone Signore. Signore, a French actress, was featured on the poster of the 2013 César Awards. In reality, Vivian Lee's personal life was marked by struggles with depression and alcoholism. She was also known for being abrasive to her fellow actors. When she first worked with Lee Marvin on the movie, she complained about his stale breath, but eventually, the two became good friends. The movie, starring Vivian Lee and Simone Signore, tells the story of a group of passengers on a ship traveling from Mexico to Europe. The film explores themes of identity, morality, and the human condition. Despite its complex themes, the movie received mixed reviews from critics 
with some praising its thought-provoking storyline, while others found it too slow-paced. During the filming of Ship of Fools, Vivian Lee, who played the role of a fading German beauty, faced significant health issues. The actress, already diagnosed with bipolar disorder, struggled with her mental health throughout the production. Her condition was so severe that Lee had to be replaced in the film Island in the Sun due to her erratic behavior. In one instance, Simone Signore, playing a German nurse, and Jose Ferrer, as a German doctor, had a heated argument on set. The scene required them to exchange harsh words, but their emotions seemed all too real. It turned out that Ferrer was still upset about Signore's refusal to work with him in the past. Their animosity added intensity to the scene, leaving the cast and crew in stunned silence. Heinz Ruhmann, a famous German actor, initially agreed to play the role of a German businessman, but later withdrew due to concerns about being typecast as a Nazi. The role was then offered to Oscar Werner, who accepted. The film's budget was stretched to the limit due to the elaborate set design and large cast. At one point, the production was behind schedule, and the crew had to work around the clock to catch up. Despite these challenges, the film went on to receive six Academy Award nominations, including Best Picture. During the filming of a storm scene, the artificial rain caused the ship's deck to become slippery, leading to several accidents. The crew had to constantly mop the deck to ensure the safety of the actors, adding to the already challenging production schedule. In conclusion, the making of Ship of Fools was marked by intense emotions, both on and off the screen, and unforeseen challenges. Despite these obstacles, the film remains a classic example of 1960s cinema, showcasing the talents of some of Hollywood's most renowned actors. In Ship of Fools, a star-studded ensemble includes Simon Signore, one of five French actors to win an Academy Award. The film also features Heinz Ruhmann, an honorary member of the International Lodge of Artists since 1955. Vivian Lee, another cast member, holds a distinctive record in the world of acting awards. She is one of only seven actors with a 2-0 winning record when nominated for an Oscar. Lee won for her performances in Gone with the Wind and A Streetcar Named Desire. This classic film boasts a remarkable cast, with each actor bringing their unique experiences and accolades to the project. The film serves as a testament to their enduring talent and impact on the industry. Consider the accomplishments of these renowned performers as you delve into the narrative of Ship of Fools. The film's exploration of human nature and relationships resonates with audiences, leaving a marked impression in the annals of cinematic history. Thespian prowess takes center stage in this captivating show, inviting viewers to step into a world where stories and talents converge. Released in 1965, Ship of Fools left a lasting impact on the film industry. This classic, based on Catherine Ann Porter's novel, presented a microcosm of society with its diverse and flawed characters. The movie's exploration of prejudice, morality, and the human condition resonated, influencing future filmmaking. Its innovative approach to storytelling, weaving multiple narratives, was a departure from traditional film structure. The ensemble cast, led by Vivian Lee, delivered compelling performances, highlighting the potential of character-driven plots. Ship of Fools can be seen as a precursor to modern ensemble films such as Crash and Babel, which also intertwine multiple storylines to explore societal issues. The movie's focus on human frailty and resilience has also influenced contemporary filmmakers, evident in shows like The Handmaid's Tale and The Leftovers. Moreover, the film's examination of prejudice and social inequality remains relevant today. It serves as a reminder of the importance of empathy and understanding in a divided world. This classic continues to inspire and influence its themes echoing through the decades, leaving a lasting legacy in the world of film. Did you watch the 1965 movie Ship of Fools? This classic film, based on Catherine Ann Porter's novel, brings together a diverse group of characters on a cruise ship, creating a microcosm of society. If you've seen it, you might recall how it made you feel or the thoughts it sparked. We'd love to hear about your experiences and memories related to this movie. How did it impact you personally? Perhaps it shifted your perspective on cinema or made you think more deeply about human nature. By sharing your story, you can enrich the conversation and engage with others who may have similar or different views. If you were touched by this movie, why not share your thoughts with us? You can like, share, or subscribe to join the discussion and explore more cinematic gems. Let's reminisce about this classic together and discover how it has left its mark on each of us. So, don't be shy. Tell us about your personal connection to Ship of Fools 
and how it has influenced your cinematic journey. We're excited to hear from you.